Hello, it's Patrick here from thegaragebandguide.com. Welcome to Garage Band Q and A, the video series where you, the viewer, send in your Garage Band questions and queries, and I do my best to answer them for you. I've had a lot of really great questions about automation from the community recently. Xander got in touch via email, wondering how to create a drop shelf using automation points in GarageBand. He did mention that this is possible in Pro Tools, but wasn't sure if it is actually doable within GarageBand. Well, it definitely is possible. It just requires a bit more of a hands-on approach. So if I want to put a drop shelf in here, for example, I would create two points, one where I want the shelf to start and one where I want it to end. Then zoom in and create two more automation points right next to the first two. I'll drag these points to the desired volume level while also dragging them as close to the beginning and end points as possible. And that gives you a drop shelf. Thanks for getting in touch, Xander. That's a really great question. Jim also got in touch with a question about automation. He wants to delete the first 20 seconds of a recording, but is having trouble getting his automation points lined up with the zero position of his tracks. So any automation data you enter is tied to the track itself, not the regions present on the track. So if, like Jim, you change a region's position in that track, you'll need to manually move your automation data too. Luckily, you can simply drag this selection box over all of your current automation points. You'll know they're selected when they turn white like that. Click on one and drag the whole lot to your desired position. It's as simple as that. Great question. Cheers for getting in touch, Jim. You got your own garage band question? Leave a comment below this video or get in touch on Facebook or Twitter. Links are in the description below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next garage band Q&A.